Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And over the last couple of days, I've made some videos on the transformation Docker. And I thought I'd go ahead and go over a few more of the deals you can do with it. Everybody should know that if they have a, a cube, a square, that you can click on it twice and you get these arrows. And the round ones rotate it. And the middle ones skew it. And everybody knows that. Or let's say you already know that. But you don't know what angle it's skewed at. Nowhere does Corel tell you what angle it's skewed at it if you're drawing something specific. Or anyway, so go to transformation. Go down to skew. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to skew it to the right. So we need to put a negative point 22 and a half or 22.5, a negative. We're going to use an anchor point and we want zero copies. We don't want a copy of it. We just want to skew it and just hit OK. It's at 22.5 degrees. So that's, that's pretty cool in that uh, transformation docker. Now, the same thing with fonts. This font, you cannot italicize it. You cannot bold it. I've got a couple of videos on how to bold stuff. And I've actually got a couple of videos on how to make this italic. So just double click on it and get a skew and you can italics it. But if the customer in, so you, you did a whole sentence or a phrase and the customer comes back to you six months later and goes, I really like that. I want to do that, but I want to use that font and I want to use, but I want to use different words. Well, you don't know how much you skewed it to reproduce that. And it's been six months and you kind of forgot what you look, what it looked like. Well, if you skew it 22 and a half degrees, write that down somewhere on the file, you know, that it was skewed at 22 and a half degrees. And then you could reproduce that same font, same uh, slant, but with different words, and they would be identical to the, the other plaque that they might be putting side by side to another plaque. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.